All right, welcome back to Curse BI. Today we're going to be talking about how you can join tables together to create some amazing query results. This is this is a true magic of a relational database. It is it's it's awesome. We got to get into it. Hey, become a member. Get early access to all this content. It's literally $5 a month. Like you can afford it. It's not a big deal. Uh and you get access to all this stuff early, all right? Okay, so these are the basic joins that you have in SQL, all right? I'm gonna run through each and every one of them, take a screen grab or head over, just honestly, I just did a, a, a like a Bing search for uh, for SQL, for SQL joins image. And I came up with this image. It's, there's like a million of them out there. I didn't bother creating my own, but let's quick take a look at them and then I'm gonna show you them in action, okay? Oopsies, let's get to the right zoom in. All right, the the basic join is gonna be, um, I'm sorry, it's gonna be your inner join right in the center here. So it's gonna be select from table A, inner join or join to table B on the, K, the key in A and the key in B. What that's going to do is it's going to give you the results from A that align with results in B, okay? The next most popular joins are go is going to be your left join, okay? So this is saying from table A, I want all the records in table A, no matter what. I want all the records in table A, but then just give me the records of the information from table B where we have information that aligns, all right? The next most popular one is going to be uh, your left join where they don't match. Okay, so it's, hey, give me like everything from table A, uh, left join on table B, but where B is a null. Okay, so we start to combine that up so that we can get some of that, that uh, you know, just records in A that don't have anything inside of B. All right. The next is going to be our right joint. I honestly, I, I think of this as like peas in a pod. I would just structure my query with like B as the first table and A as my second and use my the left joint. But you can do the right joints and have that exact same thing where you get everything in B where you have overlap in A or everything in B without anything in A, right? Same type of functionality, same syntax for you, okay? Here's where we get to some interesting stuff. We've got a full outer join, which is gonna give me everything in A and everything in B, or an outer join where there's nothing. So give me things in A and give me things in B, which where there is no overlap, okay? These are the basic joins that you have. Predominantly your inner join is gonna be your biggest money maker uh, or your left join, those two, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, you can run a very, very successful career with predominantly using those two joins. But let's show it to you because you know we don't want to spend all day just looking at a, a still image here. Okay, so if I'm gonna use my first, first query, I'm gonna say, all right, from Fact Internet Sales, inner join on dim customer where the customer key is equal to the customer key uh, or the um, actually, we let me talk about something that we have here is that S that's right there and the C that, that's right there. These are called aliases. Um, the reason we use aliases is to make it easier for us to write the rest of the statement, right? So instead of having to always say fact internet sales dot customer key, we use an S right here for the sales so it's S dot customer key. So the fact table customer key where it's equal to the C or customer table customer key. Okay. So this is my classical inner join. I run this, I get the results of the sales from the, from the, uh, uh, with the customer information on it. Uh, I'll show you in a, a ne next video on like aggregations and stuff or in a later video on aggregations, how you can get that in place. Right. So it's just, it's, this is bringing back that intersection 
where there is stuff in fact internet sales and there's stuff in uh, the dim customer table. So you're not gonna see any records that are in the fact internet sales that don't have a customer record and you're not gonna see any customer records that are not in fact internet sales, all right? Um, if I go in and I look, here is my left join. So I'm saying, okay, give me all my customers as well as the sales amount. But in this case, because I have a left join on internet sales, I'm gonna be able to see customers that have no sales, okay? So I'm gonna hit, hit run on this. And you're actually gonna see, uh, I, I would be surprised if we found people uh, just because this is a, a, a very hardened table. We're not gonna see anything that doesn't have any sales. So that's not surprising to me, but this is the type of thing you could use to look for customers that have in sales. Or you could put some like where clauses on the fact internet sales to say in the last 10 days or something along those lines. Then, you, then it'd be much easier to see that, right? But this is how you do a left join, all right? Let's take a look at our right joints now, okay? If I go in and <laughs> we've got the right join. So from factor in its sales, right join dim customer on customer key, customer key. So this is my right join over here. Doesn't it just look like the reverse of this? That's why I, you can do this, this works, but it's really just, it's just this with customer first. Right, but or where you list customers second. So, um, we're, we're we now have internet sales order numbers for the for for all of my first name people. Right, so um, kind of silly, but you can do this one. All right, next, this is my full outer join fact internet sales uh, and dim customer and customer key. Let's take what are we talking about full outer join. Okay, so this is gonna give me everything. Oopsies. This is gonna give me everything inside both these tables, okay? So if I hit run on this, uh, boy, sometimes that takes a long time. In fact, how many records does this generate? Let's use our old trick, our select count old trick. All right, that brings us a quarter million records. We were able to get the actual data back in what, milliseconds? Yeah, 693 milliseconds. Not too shabby, okay? So this is like the everything everywhere, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you what a cross join is. This is basically for blowing up your table as much as possible, okay? This is not illustrated because I don't know a good way to illustrate this. This is a cross join. What this is going to do is for every first name, show me every day of the week, English day of the name of the week for every record in the dim table. This is something I'm not even going to hit execute on this because while this is something that can be used to explode things out, it can be exorbitantly uh, costly to execute and run. So while this is something out there, don't run it, all right? Like, I'm not going to run this one because I tested it before and it just, it, it's just no good, right? All right, so that was cross-join. Um, okay, now let's talk about, let's talk about multiplying, right? So we can do things like this where we've got, uh, we're going from fact internet sales, join on dim customer and join on dim product. So we could get the customer name, the product name, and the sales amount. This is something that's very akin to like working in a tabular model, right? You know how a tabular model, you could just drag and drop. Well, in SQL, it's super easy to write that exact same thing here where we've got these all set up, where we've got the table that we're joining to, we've got the keys that it's joining on in both cases. Please note, the S, the, 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 the base table that we're starting with is the fact table. And if you're in a star schema, that's a good way to do it. Start with the fact table. And then when you join to your dimensions here, 
Notice that the fact table is mentioned first in both keys with the dimension table second. Reason you wanna have this set up like this is all about performance and query tuning, which is one of the things we're gonna be talking about in a later video. If I run this, boom, now I've got all, I've got my customers, I've got my bikes, and I've got my sales amounts all in one query, all there that I could start working with, right? Now let's, let's see if we can combine that with some lessons that we had from a previous video where we filter on things, okay? So look at this. Okay, now in this, in this query, we're gonna say, okay, I want everyone who had a sales amount from the dim customer table and the factor internet sales table joined upon customer key for the sales amount from fact internet sales is over a thousand dollars okay this pattern can be really really helpful in in helping you phone hone, phone into and find some very valuable insights inside of your data all right so what'd you think that that's that's soup to nuts those are all your joins, all your capabilities. I mean, you can kind of come up with some other like fringe niche ones, but you learn the ones that we just talked about in this video here. You are set up for a career of writing SQL statements, all right? Now, I hope you, you watching this, learned something. I hope this has been beneficial for you. If you're learning SQL and you want to share this with other people in your class, in your, in your company, please do like that helps me out so much. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for like new alerts and whatnot. Heck, leave a comment and let me know. Is this stuff helpful for you? I, I sure hope it is. I'm trying to help you out. It's my Saturday. <laughs> Hopefully this is working great for you. You have the best day ever. Peace. I know this can be hard. But don't worry, I got you. So is Baker Tilly. We're, I'm a consultant at Baker Tilly. If you want some help, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital. There's like a little form you can go in to click to get some help. Myself, one of my co compatriots, we'll reach out to you. We'll make sure that you get taken care of, all right? Uh, otherwise, I got some videos over here for you. Uh, you know, check them out. Maybe you'll find something insightful.